Apple's iPhone is shaking up the South Korean cell phone market, for years the exclusive domain of domestic giants like Samsung Electronics. Since the iPhone's debut late last year, the popularity of smartphones among tech-savvy South Koreans has soared, bringing with it a whole new industry of applications for these gadgets. Chuan Kim reports. South Koreans are relative latecomers to the smartphone market. But the smartphone floodgates were opened in November last year with the entrance of Apple's iPhone. And ever since then, the public's thirst for the gadgets has been wild. These days, there are a lot of good Wi-Fi and NetSpot connections, so it's really convenient to look things up right away on the spot. When it comes to English learning apps, they even have features like pronunciation guides. I think the applications can be very useful. Both of these phones allow you to make phone calls, take pictures and video, and access the internet. This older model actually had a video chat function years before Apple's latest iPhone 4. So what makes a smartphone, well, smart? The answer, the hundreds of thousands of applications that are available at your fingertips. Apps like Bully. The simple yet addictive game has ranked as a top download in a dozen countries around the world. That's good news for Youngshik Kim, the brains behind Bully. For the global market as a whole, with the free and pay versions combined, Bully has been downloaded some two million times. Looking at just the Korean market, there have been about 400,000 downloads of both the free and pay versions. It's also popular in places like Brazil, Singapore and Hong Kong, where the game has been ranked first in downloads. But apps are more than games or ways to kill time. Meet Hyunseok Lee, one of Korea's celebrity English teachers. English education is a multi-billion dollar industry, and Lee is one of the pioneers in a new segment, Teaching by App. In the line of business, in the English teaching uh, business uh, that I've been in for the last several years, we create a lot of contents, and uh, when you create contents, you always have to find new ways to sell them. Now, uh, first it was books, and then later on it was online lectures, which really became big in Korea. But I think the next generation was applications out there, mm -hmm. smartphones, the number of smartphones exploding and everything. So just how big is the Korean apps market? Apple Korea declined to share download figures for the country, but SK Telecom, Korea's largest mobile phone carrier, says its key market averaged around 300,000 app downloads a day in July. Current prices range from 85 cents to a little over four dollars. With these kinds of figures, a developer with the right app can make a profit within days. Altogether, I guess um, the break-even point has been met like within a week of sales, and now I think uh, the app, the first app we kind of made, has made at least uh, four or five times the money that we invested in the first place. So it's pretty good uh, for a project pilot, for a pilot project that we started. Apple successfully captured the early apps market worldwide with 67% market share in 2009. But telecom research firm Ovum predicts that by 2015, it will be overtaken by phones using Google's Android operating system. English educator Lee says playing both sides is key to maximizing profits. Uh, in order to maximize your profits, you really have to have uh, the two versions of apps out there, one for the Android market, one for iTunes, but it's a completely different game. It's two different languages. One's Russian, the other one's Japanese, to give you an analogy. So what you have to do, you need two separate developers developing the same application. Korea's sole carrier of the iPhone, KT, has seen more than $4 billion of revenue growth since they launched the iPhone in November 2009. Both KT and rival SK Telecom have created programs to train thousands of new app developers. Looking at the big picture, I believe this is the third wave. The first wave was in the early 1990s with the personal computer boom, which provided the foundation for the IT industry. The second wave was the internet boom in the early 2000s, which drastically changed people's living patterns. I believe the third wave is technology that combines the Internet and the PC into a device that can be held in one hand, the smartphone. Worldwide, the app market is projected to grow 800% in the next three years to almost $16 billion. 
The area with the biggest growth will be the Asia Pacific region, creating more opportunities for developers in tech crazed South Korea. The number of smartphones will jump to 60 million next year, or more than 30 percent of the mobile phone market, marking the beginning of the smartphone era and South Korea as the world's fastest growing smartphone market. After months of delay, Apple's iPhone 4 has finally been approved for sale here in Korea. Consumers reserved some 120,000 iPhone 4s on the first day of pre-orders alone. With each new generation of phones comes a new generation of apps. And now, a new wave of business opportunities. Chu Won Kim, Asia Biz Forecast, Seoul.